The Pro V1 is the most coveted ball in golf. When we find them in the rough, we rejoice. When someone gifts us a dozen, we save them so that we can lose them on special occasions. I always play with urethane covered golf balls because I like the softness of the cover and they bite more than other balls. I generally play the Inesis Tour 900, the Saint 9 Extreme Soft TaylorMade Project A, and I really like the Kirkland Six and any Shrixen golf balls. But I always wondered what difference it would make playing a cheap ball aimed at mid to high handicap golfers. Today I played the Gusson Legacy Golf Course Front 9 with an Inesis Soft 500 golf ball. I don't have much info on it, other than the fact that they're $12 for a dozen and have a Serlin cover. Urethane scratches easily, while Serlin is super durable. To be honest, I see Didi playing with any junk balls he can find. His favorite is the Shrixen Distance and the Top Flight Excel. Seriously, video where he scored 80 at Burapa? Well, he did that with a Top Flight Excel. Something I really like about urethane balls is how they feel on the putter face. I think Serlin golf balls feel clunky off the face and they make a high pitch click instead of a nice thud like urethane does. This feeling alone makes me think I hold more putts. Well, well, well. I find very little difference between urethane balls. I notice the Callaway Chrome Soft loses distance on my irons, but not on the driver, which is why I stopped playing it. But in general, most of the balls with urethane covers are good. Is there a difference between one model to the next? If there is, it's quite minimal. I hit the same distances with the Project A, Shrixen Q-Star Tour and Inesis Tour 900s. The Kirklands and the Saint 9 golf ball go further with the driver. But players, how much of this is mental? Do I feel more ease over a Saint 9 or a Kirkland? Does that feeling of ease make me relax and increase swing speed? I think the mental aspect of golf balls is very overlooked. After the My Golf Spy testing, I played them and they're about the same as every other urethane ball I've mentioned. The reason I won't play them is I hit all six of the ones I tried Oscar Bravo. That's like the Nike one ball that Tiger used to play. I hit the three I had all Oscar Bravo on the first shot with each. I never played them again. I stopped the Callaway Chrome Soft a few weeks after that. Was it because every time I stood over the ball, I wondered if it was going shorter? Did I tense up on my backswing and then try to hit it harder to almost prove that the test was wrong, thereby hitting it shorter and proving the opposite? Around the greens, is the urethane ball any better? I would say probably, but I wonder from what distances. For short bump and runs, you can always just adjust the landing spots to be closer to you. That's no issue. So where would there be an issue for me if I had to play these over urethane balls? Yeah. Sun. I think this shot from the bunker is one area. A urethane ball, I can get to stop quick sticks from the bunker. I think this will be the most evident area of difference. And also, if you short side yourself, perhaps there may be a difference when you need to stop quickly. 
Partial pit shots may be another area, especially with the ones you want to grip and rip. I just can't hit it soft enough. I cannot. I might change patterns. Three and pattern. To be honest, I don't know what, I don't know the difference between a two or nine hundred or a, 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 a five hundred because. That stopped about four feet from the pitch mark with a six iron, not bad at all. One final area where these balls won't perform the same will be on longer approaches. I mean anything below a 7 iron should stop quickly enough, but the 4, 5 and 6 iron I don't see the Serlin balls stopping as close to the pitch mark as the urethane balls. Oh, um, wait, that was a 6 iron from a long way out, no real wind, and it stopped like a bouse. The previous 6 irons also stopped quickly. I'm confused. Why do I play expensive golf balls again? After 9 holes, I was pretty convinced I could jam these balls. I didn't lose a single shot from the performance of the golf ball. I lost shots because of a long tough par 4, a short sided approach and a puffy's chip. But you know what might be the biggest factor in the psychology of the golf ball? I believe that some people are playing golf balls that are too expensive or they are so attached to the name of the golf ball. How many times have you heard someone say? There goes another $4 when they smash a new premium ball Oscar Bravo. That's not stress free. More importantly, how many times have you stood over a tee shot worried about losing a golf ball? Then you hit it in the water or Oscar Bravo and get more and more tense as the number of expensive or fancy golf balls dwindles. That's a long day. That's not stress free. If you're playing expensive golf balls or golf balls that you feel attached to, play cheaper golf balls. Or play a golf ball you don't care about losing. Play the shitty looking provisional ball you keep in your pocket all the time. Maybe this round changes my opinion and I just play these cheaper mid-handicapper targeted golf balls. What a life. What a choice. What a stress-free. What a saving.